dining etiquette. Okay, this is where we're going to spend a little bit of time uh, because, as I was saying, it does make such a good impression. If you know what you're doing, okay, so before the meal, when you sit down, put your napkin in your lap. I don't know if any of you, raise your hand, let's be honest, let's have a moment of honesty here. Raise your hand if you had a moment of panic, which is my bread plate and which is my drink? Thank you for being honest. We like, all right, two honest people. Come on, no one else had a little bit of a panic? Mm hmm okay. I've been in these situations before. It's like, oh my gosh, you know. And I've had people take my bread plate. It's like, really? I was hungry. I really wanted that bread. So um, here's a little tip. I teach kids and adults, so don't think I'm treating it differently. You make B's and D's with your fingers. Then under the table is the key. When you sit down, don't be like, oh, look at this. See, as you look, okay. B is for bread, that's my bread plate. D is for drink, there we go, B and D. You'll remember this someday, you really will. One of the things about eating is that some people eat American style, some people eat continental style. If you're like, what's continental style? Then you probably eat American style. Um, and neither is right or wrong, they're just different. American style is where you, you use you know, the fork in one hand and you switch it over to cut. Continental is where you use both silverware and all at the same time. So knife and fork, each hand. I, it doesn't matter what you use, just stick to it. <laughs> because you see a lot of people, if they're eating American style, they hold it like a shovel, their fork, or like a hammer, and then they switch hands and they do all sorts of funny things. I get really, Ugh, you can't do that. So pick one or the other. When do you talk business? That's a big question that a lot of people have. When do you talk business? Well. If you're going out for a luncheon, you can talk business right away. I mean, everyone's so busy. We need to be able to get on with things. So you can start talking business at any time during a lunch. Um, if you are with a boss or during interview, let them bring it up first. It's not a time to talk about personal issues uh, or to talk about your, oh, I'm on a gluten-free diet, so can we make sure that we go to a place that la 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 la. You don't need to be talking about all of those personal type of things. For dinner, it's much better to sit down, use that time to build the relationship, and then talk business afterwards. So maybe about the time that dessert is coming in. Now, if you are going to be hosting a client, again, I think I covered some of the highlights, but also, you know, make sure that you make it so easy for your client who's coming to have lunch with you. You have communicated not only where you're going, but the directions, the dress code, you get there early. You make it so that they have a great experience from the beginning to end, you take care of the bill, and they think you are a rock star who has fabulous table manners, you're confident, and they definitely want to do business with you. <laughs>